Hello, I'm so happy to have you here today. I hope you'll join in on my underwater make-along that I'll be starting up in January. And today I just want to give you a little bit of an introduction and let you know what supplies you need. They really are minimal and I'm hoping that you can, you'll be able to make use of things you have at home. If you don't have stuff at home, maybe you can ask around and you can find somebody that would be willing to share some of their supplies with you. So you will need some fabric, of course, a piece of background fabric. I'm working with this very long, narrow strip of fabric that was made in Nigeria. Lightly, many people don't have something similar, so it's not at all necessary. It's probably not even ideal. And I would suggest some fairly plain fabric for your background so you're not fighting with it and all of the things you put on top, your stitches and your applique, will really be the focus off your composition rather than the fabrics themselves. So I've got this light blue indigo dyed cotton here. That would be a great choice. If you don't have any big pieces of fabric, you can just sew smaller pieces together. Now, this purpley stuff is probably a little bit busy. I would either go with really dark or really light fabric with very little patterning. You'll also need lots of scraps of fabric. How many scraps is a lot? Oh, I don't know. I've got a huge bag full, but you don't need very big pieces. Just these tiniest little bits can be can be really useful so this is where you'll want to ask around and see what other people might have to share with you and I find using smooth textured cottons like quilting cottons perfect for this. You'll need some thread and I'll be working with the six stranded embroidery floss. This brand here happens to be Anchor. I often use either Anchor or DMC. You'll also need a sewing needle, a hand sewing needle and I'm not really picky about what type I use. They come in different sizes. There are really big, heavy needles with really big eyes that are really easy to thread, but it's hard to get them through the cloth. There are medium-sized needles, and then there are very tiny needles with very small eyes, and it's easy to get those tiny needles through the cloth, but it's hard to thread them. Just like in the old fairy tale, I choose something in the middle that's just right. A needle that has a eye that's large enough for me to get the thread through it easily but thin enough to sew through the fabric easily. You will need a pair of scissors lightly. You might like to use a thimble. Personally I prefer leather thimbles like this one. And the only other thing you'd really need is a piece of paper and some sort of writing tool. I'm hoping that you'll join in and I hope to see you soon.